you wouldn't believe me if I told you. But. Allow me to let you in on a big secret. Did you know that there are only three seasons to the planet? To the average person, this sounds like complete nonsense. They will point their four little fingers in your face, and give you, the real reason for the season. And then you will be labeled as being a quote-unquote, flat tard, or some other type of childish adjective. I do not appreciate such disrespect not to mention the blatant disrespect, by the lack of proper functioning, excuse me, proper, functioning, brain cells. They rely on their little science puppets to provide them with the so-called truth. But what will you do, when your favorite little puppet on a string, gets confronted? I'll tell you what you will do. You will dig yourself deeper into a hole. A black hole, that is. Figures. Of deceit. <laughs> tell them. Hanging on their every word, while shaming, and dissing me. I get it. I completely understand. I'm just a text to text speech voice named Brian. But enough of the goofy talk. Let's get down to business. Let's start with this big fat hey, moonhead wannabe scientist scholar named Vsauce. Michael here. Mr. Michael. Mr. Michael has a lot of superior knowledge. So much in fact that he is willing to support a flat earth model unbeknownst to him and his greater wisdom. So let's check out Mr. Moonhead Vsauce, as his scientific claims make no sense whatsoever. Take a listen. Now, by coincidence, we are alive at a time when both of these phenomena lengthen and shorten days at roughly the same time. So they add up, making September 18th almost a minute shorter than the longest day of the year, December 22nd. For Northern Hemispherians, December has the shortest periods of daylight, but the whole solar day, from sunrise to sunrise, is for everyone on Earth the longest of the year on December 22nd. People in the North just spend most of it in darkness. Earth's tilt it doesn't just affect how long a day is, it also affects how long a year is. This is because the Earth's tilt is what causes the seasons. For the half of the Earth tilted towards the Sun, the same amount of solar radiation is spread across less space than it is. For starters, let's do exactly like your fifth grade, juvenile mindset, and back. That's ass up. First off, you had claimed that December 22nd is the longest solar day of the year making it the shortest day of the year, in terms of how long the sun is seen in the northern hemisphere. And the shortest solar day of the year is on September 18th, which would make September 18th the longest day of the year, since it is the shortest solar day, correct? But as I look at the documentation, the longest day of the year is on June 21st, not September 18th. Not even six months apart? Is there something wrong with this picture? By your own standards, Mr. Moonhead, the shortest solar day should be on June 22nd, not September 18th. Remember, these are supposed to be polar opposites. But, in this case, only three months apart will do. Which brings me back to the main topic of this masterpiece, the three seasons. The spring, and the fall are the exact same season, as the north says bye bye to the sun. The south welcomes the sun with open arms. When life gets you down, and the world feels so cold, you don't fall back, or fall down. You just, spring back up, until things start to heat up again. Speaking of heating up, you ever wonder why they call it spring? Keep in mind, that the sun is spiraling in the air like a spring. So, after the great fall, and it hits the dead of winter, the sun springs back into action, and heats the summer days, until it's time for Mr. Sunshine to fall back into, you guessed it, the fall.
All along, I keep singing my song. I say, this phase is always. Sometimes I get so crazy, but just know that I always stay. 'Cause you're my light through the haze. It's time for a champion to the soul of the land. Men the heart from the sea and sand till the sun comes up again. Time for a champion to the soul of the land. Men the heart from the sea and sand. You're a young man, you got a lot to learn. Things are gonna get better for you. That's fucking proof, motherfuckers. Don't keep your head down too much. Till next time. Wake the fuck up. According to science, as the earth is spinning, it is also moving supposedly 66,600 miles an hour. You got 666 twice. Are you gonna tell me that's a coincidence, Zach? You're the numbers, man. Go speak on this. Delegates are reviewing the now 50-year-old Antarctic Treaty. Hillary Clinton calls for tighter regulation of tourism in Antarctica. Many of you all around the world hope that Edge can defeat me at Survivor Series and become world champion. The changes underway in the Arctic will have a long-term impact. Hope is the motto of the desperate. On our economic future. Yet all you sheep cling to the hope that Edge will find a way to beat me. You believe in Edge, Welcome back, true seekers, just like you believe and common sense in the Undertaker. That the Earth, ladies and gentlemen, is not you remember what a flat happened plane, to the Undertaker. It's actually a spherical globe. I buried him, along with all of your hopes, all of your dreams, every last part of you that thought that you could succeed at anything in your meaningless lives. You didn't tell me that's a coincidence, Zach. And tonight, you insects hope that the big show can exercise the evil from the devil's favorite demon. I can stretch a legion. Because to the nothing fight. can stop me. Not a phenom, not a giant, and certainly not the pathetic hopes of any of you. I am your champion. The places that I intend to lead you will have you begging the darkest corners of hell. Now put your hand on the Bible. Swear to God, you walk on the